Okay, this is going to be about optional by val overloading and summaries. Um, so quickly now, I'm just going to make a function which um, will make it a more function um, which does stuff that we've already covered as integer, which is why I'm going to try and do it quickly. Uh, by val b as integer. I'm not going to go to speed for it in case. And I'll, by the way, by now you should have already um, practiced um, subs functions by val by ref. Anyway, so this is this is going to be covering optional by val. So let's put console dot read line here. And here I'm going to put a console dot write line. I'm not going to bother storing this function. I'm just going to call multi and times we'll say four by five, like that. And that's what I've done so far, and that's standard. So now we've shown you the optional. So if you do comma optional, now I optional values must be after all of the normal ones. I'm fairly sure. So optional, you can do by val or by ref. I'm just going to do by val. Uh, keep it simple. Um, like I said, you know, I can't think of a situation where you want to use by ref in a function. Not a practical one, at least, anyway. Um, by val c as integer. Now, it's going to error now. This is going to error. Um, but this is because this is erroring. So, it says must have a default value. If I do equal to. Now, you don't want to do 0, you want to do 1. Because we're doing multiplication, if you do 0, it would make the whole thing 0. So, now this makes 20 but if I choose to set, put a third parameter on here you can see it says in square brackets say it's optional default value is 1 it tells you that but if I put 3 then this will make 60 so but I can put 1 which does the same as not putting anything at all if I get rid of it like that and then yeah Another thing you can do is if I do optional again, uh, by val d as integer equal to 1. Not that you would want to, but you can actually just leave that blank comma and then do that and then move on to the next one and that will work fine. So if you don't want to fill in the second one and it's optional, you can actually just skip to the... the so if you don't want to do the third one, you can skip over to the fourth one. You don't even need any at all. You can just do this. Um, and if I do that, and I can just do that, and it will work fine if I get rid of these, because you don't actually have any need to have any solid, just normal ver by valves. You can have them all optional. And then you can say for f yeah, you know, and then it will work fine. Anyway, that's enough about optional by val. I'm sure you pretty much get the idea. So now I'm going to be talking about overloading. Okay, I'm going to make a sub and I'm going to call it by our uh, sub uh, say measurements. And I'm going to by val uh, x as integer, and they can actually see the x and y, so it's nice to call it something appropriate as integer. I say they, you really, but. So if I don't need this actually, if I say say measurements, I do open. You can see it says x and y. So if I say four and five, and here I'll say console dot right line um, x comma space and x and speech mark space y. Loads of cool stuff. Um, and why and that should work fine so this is standard stuff you already know this but let's say if instead of optionally adding something you, you can you can even say you can pass two integers or you can pass a string so sub and I'm going to call this exactly the same with the same um, case as well and then by val. Now I would use the size structure if you know about structures and stuff, and but that's not available in console. So it just to clear it up for advanced programmers. So if I say s as string, I'll put m actually for measurements. Mere as string. 
Now notice this does an error. But if these had the same parameters with the same data types within the parameters, it's not the amount, it's whether they're the same as well as the amount, um, then it won't work. But now I can say um, we'll do the split function, so dim a uh, array of a as um, integer is equal to meh dot split um, on the space. So I'm just going to put this as a so now I'm going to say console dot right line um, x colon space and a zero and space y colon right there and a one. If you don't know what the split function is, then that was episode six. So this has been past four and five. Now, while I'm typing this, you can see I've got an up and down arrow here. Now, this is for overloading. So you can see I can pass me as string, or I can pass x and y. And it will kind of note, it doesn't have to be on the right one. So if I want x and y, I can just put a string, um, five space nine and it will know what I'm on about and it will do it fine so if it's a string it will go to this one if it's an int if it's two integers it will go to this one so yeah that's basically what overclocking I keep saying overclocking for some reason overloading that's what overloading is a summary is kind of fits well with overloading because it might get confusing to add a summary you put three uh, apostrophes so three comments like this and it will bring up all this stuff so I actually don't know what the remarks does, I always delete it, but I'm sure it has probably a bit more description. So this is just notes, so if it gets too confusing. So I can say, um, what this does, it give it a, give it an x and, no it should be a x, and a y, and it'll say it. Uh, now this will be the same, f actually no it won't be, and then say uh, this is x value and then y value. So now here I'm going to put three things, get rid of the remarks. Also for a function that adds an extra thing for what, it, like a description for what it returns. But anyway, give, I'm going to put something similar, give it a measurement and it, it'll say it. Um, and then here I'll say um, x value space y value. Um, so this just makes it nice and neat and you can actually collapse this as well uh, although I'll leave it open just so you can see so if I go here and you can see when I go through this it says give it a measurement and it will say it it says mere so if I go to this one it will only say X until I say four then I press comma and then it will say the Y description so that's just a nice thing. That's what all the preset things do, like you know, const dot readline. Why you got um, to open it says a description here. So that's how they do that. Um, so it's just a nice way of knowing what you're doing, and especially when you've got overclocking and it's and you want to know what it what different parameters are going to do.